Hey guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, is we are changing our math curriculum for next school year. So if you haven't been around here, I have a child, uh, I have an only child, and he is going into 11th grade. And previously, for the last few years, we have been using Learn Math Fast. We started at their very first book, which is just basic math facts. It's really just we just needed to build confidence in math. And so we just continued to use them. So we finished all the way through high school geometry. And our plan for this next school year was to go ahead and do algebra two, because that's as far as we're gonna go um, math wise is algebra two for my son and for the things he wants to do past high school. So that was our plan. We were gonna do algebra two. I still have it, it's in my cabinet, and there are plans for us to do that. Like Learn Math Fast isn't going anywhere. I don't hate the program, nothing like that, nothing dramatic. It's there and we are going to use it uh, for his last year of high school. But what we decided to go with this year is something that just happened to show up and it looked like something we really needed and wanted to do. So the reason why we're changing, cause I don't like to, you know, just change stuff on everybody. The reason why we're changing is last year was a pretty tough year. Geometry, we did the basic geometry as a review um, for the first few weeks of school and that went perfectly fine. But that high school geometry from Learn Math Fast was no joke. It was a lot of information. Some of the lessons had 10, 11 pages worth of information. And if you've ever worked with a child with ADHD, those words, once there's just too many of them, their mind is somewhere else. So we spent a lot of time reteaching and going over those lessons again, working on the problems for multiple days at a time. It was really, really tough. We would watch videos, all those kind of things, just to try to help um, help get through, help us get through that. So it was pretty tough, but we made it. We made it to the end, and my son said he never wanted to see geometry ever again. And I feel exactly the same way. I do not enjoy geometry at all. Um, so it was just a tough year. So geometry was really hard, and then my son, we, well, we all are um, having to go through my mom's cancer diagnosis, she was diagnosed in December, 2023. So last year was just full of unknowns and doctor visits and being sick and going to the hospital. And it was a big thing. It's hard for adults to go through things like that, but for teenagers or children in general, that's a hard time. And so emotionally, my son was having a hard time dealing with that. And I don't blame him, thank goodness, this was the first person in our family that he has ever in his lifetime experienced being sick. And so it was very hard for him to deal with. He had some rough days. It was a rough year. And so things are looking better and my mom is doing good, but it's still, it's changed a lot. It's changed our family an awful lot. And so that on top of geometry being really, really difficult, we were like, we really wanna have a change for math next year. We wanna do something else. Now I did that poll um, last week to let you guess what we were changing to. And a lot of you were telling me how much you love Denison and I know everybody loves it. Everybody I think on YouTube, I think their children use that and that's wonderful. I think it is a wonderful program. I've heard nothing but wonderful things about it, um, but that is not what we've chosen. You know, we're just not on the same boat as everybody else. We do our own thing over here. And so it's not that I'm just trying to be different and not do what everybody's doing. It's just that doesn't work for my son. He does not want video lessons. He likes one-on-one -on -one teaching. I know a lot of people, especially people that have multiple children, they need their high schoolers to be independent and go do some things on their own. And I know everybody wants to teach independence and all that good stuff. But Children do benefit from having a teacher. I mean, they do benefit from having somebody right there that they can sit there and talk to and bounce ideas off of. And my son likes for me to actually teach him. So he did not want to have to sit, look at a screen to learn math. So if Denison works for your family, that is wonderful. I always, my biggest thing I preach here is that you need to do what works best for your family. And if Denison is what works best for your child and your family and you need your child to be independent, use it. That's just not what we pick. There's nothing wrong with that. I think the other choice I put was teaching textbooks. And again, that's an online platform. Wonderful for a lot of people. Doesn't work for my son. So what we ended up choosing, which was the other choice, 
was the new consumer math from Masterbooks. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna say, okay, well, didn't you have the one from Not Consumed? We do have it, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pass it along to somebody else. We've written in a little bit of it, but I would love to pass it on to somebody else that would like to try it. It just didn't work out for us. The other thing we did was financial stewardship from Campfire Curriculums. So that is a unit study, and I highly, highly recommend financial stewardship. We went through that unit, and it was amazing. It was amazing for me, it was amazing for my son, and I think it would be an amazing unit for your family. So if you've never tried Campfire or you're looking for another unit to do from them, financial stewardship is very, very good. So we decided we were gonna go into this for the next school year because this is gonna cover basic math that you're gonna to need to be able to function in this world. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, percents, decimals, all those things so that he can be an adult that can go out there and handle his life. He'll know how to budget. He'll know how to pay bills. Like those are the things he's going to need to know how to do. And I thought this would be a nice break from learn math fast. Let's get some real life math because he, um, he always wants to know the why, what, why are we learning this? When am I going to use this? And so this is stuff that is so practical. So I'm going to show you just a little bit of this consumer math. You can go to Masterbook's website and you can see, you know, they are great about having the links so that you can go look inside the teacher's guide and the, the student textbook, you can see a ton of those pages. And so I'm gonna link that. I think I have an affiliate link. I don't really know how to use their platform yet. Um, so I'm gonna try to put that there, but I don't know if it's gonna be an affiliate link or not because I'm not just, I just don't know. I don't know how to use their platform. So um, if I bought this with my own money, they didn't send me this. I don't, they don't know me. So, um, this is consumer math, biblical stewardship, and personal finance. And so it is like their other stuff. It's for, um, it is set up like their other things. So it says this is for ninth through 12th grade. This is a part of the teacher's guide. This is something you can see online if you go look right now. This includes your student worksheets. It has the weekly lesson schedule, quizzes, tests, and final exam, cognitive thinking, and an answer key. So I'm pretty sure that I also purchased digitally the solutions manual um, because I love to see problems worked out. I want to be able to show him and be able to find out exactly where he might have made a mistake. So I think I bought that for like $10, but I could be totally wrong on that. But there is, there's like three things you can buy, the teacher's guide, the student book, and then I think it's a solutions manual. So this is the teacher's guide. Now I bought the digital set because at the time that was what was available. They had not started printing them yet. You can actually buy them in print now. The reason why I bought this in digital is because, because I'm teaching him, I need something to look at so I can pull the book up on my laptop and teach on the whiteboard the lesson, but he needs something to look at. And so with it being digital, I have access to the book, he has access to the book. And then I also printed it single-sided so that if he wants to work out problems on the back of some of the pages in the textbook, if he wants to highlight and write, um, on the, the student book, and I'll show you that in a minute, then he can do that and I don't have to worry about it because I'm not trying to resell it. So anyway, teacher's guide, this is what this looks like. Just like all their other stuff, if you're familiar with master books, you have um, the scope and sequence. So it's just like a table of contents. You're gonna cover the big picture and key skills. Quarter two is all about budgeting. Quarter three is financial decisions and quarter four, more applications, investments, and a final review. And then of course, this tells you a little more about the course, here you go. So um, there's a required resource, companion student book, and then these are optional. So this is what I bought, the solutions manual, and then they have this one, this is the companion case study. So there are two optional and one required. And this tells you who it's designed for, you'll get one math credit. It says it takes about 45 minutes to do each exercise, but of course that depends on your child. It is open and go. It is for 180 days, so just know that. And um, you can also, if your child does like videos or you do want them to do this independently, it is a part of their academy that they have. And so this gives you a course overview, which you can see on their notes on how to grade it, determining a course grade. All of this is what you're gonna, you're, you can go look it up. And then there's a master supply list. And then just like everything else, 
in master books and I love these. The other child I teach uses a ton of master books and I love having a place to mark off what he's doing and to put his grade. So you have that. And then I also went ahead and printed, I did not print the whole book. I printed the first 90, I think it was the, like the first 90 lessons just because I wanted to give my printer a little bit of a break. But it has the um, test and quizzes also. So this stuff lives, that's why it has the little tab. It lives in my teacher binder, um, this thing that I bought off Etsy a few years ago. And so then we have the student book. And so like I said, I printed it single-sided because um, one of the things I like to do when I'm learning is I like to highlight, I like to write the margins and things like that. So I thought if he wanted to do that or we wanted to work something out, he would have the ability to do this. And so um, a lot of color and I, I love master books. I'm sorry. I like how it says like lesson one, day one. So you know exactly where you are. You know exactly how far to go. And so it does seem to have vocabulary. Um, Again, if he wants to take his own notes, you could do it double-sided, but sometimes it's just easier to print single-sided. And this says, keeping um, perspective. This is whether or not you like math. I hope you're excited about this course. And it talks about all that good stuff. And then as you can see at the bottom, again, this is lesson one day two, so you know you're on the next day. So I printed um, like the lessons here, and then I put him a divider, so that way if he wants to, if he wants to take out the worksheet, I have them a divider here. And then their worksheets look a lot like all the other master books things. Um, this one is more just like answer answers, but you do, you do actually get into some math right here. And so it kind of goes over the biblical stuff and then you get into your other things. So um, like I said, you can find this online. You can look through it and see what you think about it, but this is what we are gonna be using for my son's 11th grade year. Um, coming up next, my next video is gonna be what we're using in August, so what unit studies we plan to start with. Of course, it'll be this math and anything else we're gonna add. If you have any questions about consumer math, leave them in the comments, I'll do my best to answer them, and as always, thank you so much for watching.